All right, so they switched my my camera, right? Uh, I had it on video, and as I'm getting off the bus, uh, went back into the video, and they switched it to a photo. Therefore, I can uh, record their immediate uh, targeting while I'm on the bus. Okay? So I want you guys to understand how they do things that they will hack into my phone, prevent me from recording, in order to engage in targeting. So as soon as I got off the bus now, going go into my phone to hit that record button, I realized that the phone was in photo mode. Alright? And all I you know, should be on the on the video mode. Because all I did was just uh, you know, uh, I didn't even exit out the, the 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 photo app. I just I basically just hit the home button on the phone, and I was just reading an article on a uh, Google article, not Google article, but an article. And it tells about China. How China has um, reached a point in their brain computer interface where they use um, soft layers of, of um, filament in the brain of a monkey and the monkey had tied tied up they, the monkey was able to control the arm of a, a robotic arm also that robotic arm that that monkey is able to control wirelessly now right wirelessly okay brain computer interface and that robotic arm was able to uh, grab a strawberry right just from the monkey just thinking about it right again the monkey arm is tied up and that monkey is able to control a robotic arm completely control the arm using his his thoughts uh, alone using its thoughts alone right again but it's nothing new because it also article also talks about how the US and again, we're talking about the private sector. So imagine what the military, the Chinese military, uh, have already these things uh, being used already, right? Uh, also here in the U.S. Remember, the U.S. military industrial complex, the Department of Defense, the CIA, you know, they are decades ahead of the private sector, okay? So when I talk about um, being implanted with a microchip in the early 2000s, and how they were, by that time, by 2002, they were able to not only read my thoughts, but to project, uh, but to take over control of my mind, right? Using silent sound, right? Which again, um, using my own voice against me, and my own mind against me, okay? And even earlier than that, in the 1990s, mid 1990s, my brother became a TI. They were in their early stage, not in the early stages, but they had already perfected a lot of the frequency tuning with um, microwave and radio wave frequency, right? On this, the operating on the same brain uh, frequency as the talk, our targets, okay? So, you know, we've had reports to be, um, that was the uh, Julian McKinney, he was, uh, she worked for the NSA at the time, in, in uh, I think in 1990 she started receiving, 89, 1990 she started receiving a lot of phone calls from people uh, talking about how they had been implanted with a microchip and that the US government was controlling them, okay, and she said that a lot of things that they, that they were talking about, right, coincide with a lot of the research that the United States and Russia was engaging in in the 1960s and 1970s using uh, microwave frequencies, right? Microwave radio frequencies. Yeah, and I have, the, I have the document that she wrote. And when she went to higher ups to have them uh, start an investigation into these people playing, she said that she became a target. She said they, they targeted her to the point uh, where um, you know, they also used the psychiatric label against her. And so she had to um, leave the NSA because of these attacks. So like I said, they will always uh, use the psychiatric industry as a weapon against those of oh, you know, black people. They use it against us all the time, okay? 
you know, in the, in the early 1990s, when Gary Webb came out with his uh, his article um, and, and the book, right, uh, about the CIA and the, the crack cocaine connection. Yeah. All right. So let's hear the whole for the dollar theme again. All right, got a dollar in his hand, flashing it behind his back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I want you guys to understand exactly. Oh, don't hide it now because I turned around. Every time I turn around, he, 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 he wants to hide it, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. You guys can see it? There you go. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. This is this is how they, this is what they do. They get the actors and shit like that uh, to come out here and, and, and engage in that. Right? So, yeah, look at the guy across the street sticking his finger in his ears. Let me do the same thing too. Okay, the guy over there. All right? So you guys you guys see the pattern. I'm, I'm, you know, again I want you guys to uh, show you guys the pattern. I look at her, she's looking at the dollar behind this, the dollar in his hands. <laughs> right? So he's grabbing this penis now. Grabbing this his Yeah, nasty. Uh, you see that's what I say, that's what they do. Anyhow, I got <laughs> They don't know me very well, do they? Like I said, I'm a TI. They want to create their false narrative based off covert warfare, covert drugging, covert psychological manipulation. And because we, particularly as black people, we don't quite understand uh, psychology in the way that they do and how they use psychology against us is what happens, you know? So they will always get their actors and actresses to come and create you know, a scene, because that's what they do. That's what they do. We see this when you have um, uh, 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 whistleblowers, when they call press conference, stuff like that. They will always have somebody in that meeting or in that crowd to cause, you know, that's what you call agent, agents, uh, proprietor, right? You know, yeah, you gotta, you gotta understand these terms, and you gotta understand what they mean and what is that they do, because they playbook They've used they, their playbook so many times, right? And you need to know how to identify these things and uh, how it correlates to your targeting and what it is that they're doing and how they try to discredit you and stuff like that, okay? Remember I talk about, right? You, you can't get on the bus with no, oh look, we're using the number 32 again. Uh, up at the front, look, 532, <laughs> right? 